In 2005, over 600 million pairs of socks were sold in the UK. As well as being comfortable, best sellers also have to be fashionable. So before a sock's first stitch, a designer works out a colour scheme and pattern. Flashy socks aren't a modern day invention. Barbarians were steaming into battle wearing brightly coloured socks well over a thousand years ago. Once the designer's happy with the pattern, she can pick out the exact colours. This can take some time. There are more than 500 different shades to choose from in this studio alone. That done, she can model her design on a computer. It does the maths for her, calculating the width and number of rings, sequence of colours and even the number of loops. The threads are collected from this warehouse. They've got 170 different types, made from wool, cotton, cashmere, silk, mixed threads and chemical fibres. They use 1,500 tonnes of it every year, so a bit of variety does go a long way. Over in the sewing hall, 400 knitting machines are constantly churning out socks. They knit a whopping 45,000 pairs a day. One of the workers mounts the threads onto a machine and then inserts a data card which contains the design. The knitting machine gets through 27,000 loops in just a minute. Even the largest of sewing circles would struggle to match that pace. It's just a blur of colour to the naked eye. But in slow motion you can see some of the 160 needles that are knitting the fabric into tubes. After about five minutes, they're long enough. 66 centimetres to be precise. They're sucked through a cylinder towards the next station. They've been stitched inside out and need to be reversed. A vacuum helps, but unfortunately the repetitive task of mounting them has to be done by hand. The socks are almost finished, but they're not ready to hit the high street yet. There are large holes where the toe should be. Each loop of each sock has to be carefully mounted onto a row of needles. It's a job that requires concentration, a steady hand and the patience of a saint. A machine cuts off the spare fabric and sews the loops together. Once the toes are closed, the socks are steam pressed at 130 degrees Celsius. Seven seconds is all it takes, any longer and they could get singed. Crease free, they'll now be fresh and comfortable to wear. That's more than can be said for the earliest known socks. The Greeks made them nearly 3,000 years ago out of matted animal hair. Before they head out of the factory door, a quality controller gives them a once-over. Finally, they're paired up and sewn together to make sure they stay in pairs. For now.